The tournament is scheduled to run for 14 weeks, starting at the end of August and concluding on Independence Day. The tournament consists of 24 teams and are represented from all divisions across football in this country. It is a structured semi-professional tournament where players and management are paid each game. Along with the players being paid each game, there's also a total purse of almost 150,000 in prizes and winnings. The winner of the tournament will pocket $100,000. Initially, all preliminary games will be played on community fields around the island, with the knockout games moving to the building after turf, and ideally the finals to be played at Kensington Oval. Um, there will also be a mini draft for teams not participating in the tournament. The teams participating in the tournament are all Premier League teams, the first six first division teams, the first four second division teams, and the top four in third division, how the Sanders would have finished after the 2024 season. So therefore, the mini draft, players and teams not included can enter this draft, and there will be a draft, official notification will go to the clubs, so players not involved could enter the draft and be drafted into the teams that are participating. There will also be trades, so after you have been drafted into teams, um, if you want to trade with a specific team, once the teams can agree that they would exchange the player, that is also allowed. However, there are no transfers from team to team. Everything must be done through the draft. I am indeed honored to be part of the Prime Minister's Cup organizing committee. I assure all of us that this initiative is a great in, our, in its own right, a way to tap into our talent on island. We want to give them purpose, allowing them to thrive in structured settings while setting them a chance to have a financial reward 